Hey, Paul and family, what's up? It's Egal. Happy Tuesday. Hope it's been incredible for you so far. And uh, I haven't gone live in a while. I still don't have my studio set up. We're still working on it. But uh, I missed you guys. I want to jump on here. If you're watching live, just comment uh, live. If you're watching the replay, comment replay so I know who's here and you can say hi. Um, I want to have a conversation with you guys real quick about something that came up today. First of all, I know your sales are going through the roof. And I know that some of your palm balances are taking a hit because people have another check in their hand. They've got some money uh, that came into their bank account from Uncle Sam. And hey, what's up, Seth? What's up, uh, Danielle? How are you? Um, and uh, I want to talk about how there's a false sense of hope right now because a lot of palm brokers are thinking that it's going to be like this for a long time. Right. And I don't want this to come crashing down on you without being prepared for what's to come next. Now, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if there's going to be another uh, stimulus check coming uh, down the line. Let me know if you think that there's going to be more money coming down the line. But what is preparation? Right. How do you get prepared to be able to get more pawns through the door, to be able to hold on tight? for what's going to happen down the line, and that's being proactive and being prepared, right? Uh, it's creating a great culture and leadership. It's getting your marketing pinpointed so you're not wasting money. It's having a strategy so you can grow your business without just hope. And it's having epic customer experience so that people can actually talk about what you're doing. One of my friends gave a speech that I heard and he said that a lot of us want word of mouth marketing, yet we're not willing to do anything that will get them to speak. Nothing exciting. So think about that. You want word of mouth. Oh, this is a word of mouth business, but yet you're not willing to do anything that's incredible for people to speak these days, right? So what does it entail to get prepared for either, as Seth said, either more money. Seth believes that there's more money coming down the line. Um, some people say that there is going to be more pawns coming up and people aren't going to get any more money. But whatever it is, it's how do you get prepared? So there's four things I'm going to talk to you guys about today that are crucial to any successful pawn business so that they can grow not just their loan balance, but their bottom line. You guys are retailers right now. You're not pawn brokers. You're selling more than ever. You have to get resourceful in bringing products in. And so these four things are key in order to help you grow the business when it turns around, if there's another check in the mail, whatever that is. So listen carefully. So the first one is leadership. And a lot of times palm brokers don't believe that leadership is important. They don't believe that having a great culture is crucial. But why don't you guys tell me in the, in the comments, how hard is it to find great people right now? The reason why it's hard to find great people right now is because the culture of the business isn't amazing to where people are talking about it. And you don't have your people saying, hey, you've got to come work for this company. It's amazing. It's outstanding. My boss is epic. Come check it out. Right? Another thing that helps with more sales with more pawns is having this incredible culture and leadership so that every single time someone's at the counter, the opportunity is taken as opposed to, oh, why aren't they saying this? Why aren't they taking email? Why are they taking text messages? Why aren't they telling my customer X, Y, Z, right? So the first thing is leadership. You've got to build the leadership of yourself, of your management team, and of the culture in itself of the business. Now, second thing that's crucial to growing your business right now and not just growing your business for today. Let me make this clear. You're making tons of sales today, but if you want to build it for tomorrow, you have to work on this second thing today, right now, and that's marketing. You have to know how, who your avatar is, what your customer acquisition cost is, what your average customer value is. You've got to know the marketing tactics of social media today in order to get the list 
So you can sell pawns tomorrow. I'm going to say that again. You got to know the marketing tactics today so that you can grow your email list, your text message list, in order you to grow your pawns tomorrow. Because right now, people aren't looking for pawns, right? There might be some, but they're more looking for sales. So how do you grow that list so that when somebody needs money, they know that you're the per first place to go? That's marketing. Number three, strategy. So many of you are waking up, opening the door, and hoping that business is going to come in. Uh, you're just kind of like, you know, the water's right about here. You can't find merchandise. What do we do? Sales, ponds are coming in. What am I going to do tomorrow? I don't know. You've got to be able to strategize with your team for the core functions of the business, which are to pawn more, sell more, and collect more money, right? So if you don't have a strategy down, if you don't have something that's set for 30 days, 90 days, uh, a, six months, a year, you're just operating, opening the key and sitting in the chair, praying that things happen. And that's not how pawn leaders operate. We operate on strategy. What happens if that doesn't work out? What happens if the strategy is different? Whatever. What happens if we have to change? What happens if this happens? What happens if 3% uh, comes down the line? What happens if our sales plummet by 40% because people don't have, whatever that is, you've got to have a strategy. And last but not least, and I have a special name for this, it's called the Epic Experience. Can't spell today. Um, and that is what experience are you creating for your customers, for them to shout out from the rooftops that your business is one that someone needs to go to. Now, Let's get something straight. Many people think that they have great customer service, right? Oh, we're, we're very kind to our customers. We hold merchandise. We pay the best. We sell for the least. We do this. We do that. But the truth is, is, is it epic? Is it something that people are talking about all the time, that you're in the news positively, uh, hopefully, that uh, someone is going on, going on Facebook and saying, I cannot believe that I just walked out of this pawn shop, guess what they did? And if you're not there yet, then that's what we're, that you should be working on, right? Making sure that your customer service isn't just great, but it's epic. It's epic. And when you do that, you have more business than you can even imagine. So with that said, um, four things again, it's going to be leadership marketing, strategy, and then epic experience. And I'm going to go over this in the five-day accelerator challenge uh, next week. So pawnaccelerator.com, five days, it's 57 bucks. It's, I'm giving it away. And I'm going to teach you the foundations of those four things, plus a couple more. It's 30 minutes a day. And it's going to get you to see where you are today and where you stack up against some of the pawn leaders in the industry. Um, maybe it's going to get you to open your mind and think differently so you can sell more, so you can pawn more, so you can have a less stress training your team so that you can strategize more and grow as an entrepreneur and not just as a pawn broker. I want to make something very, very clear. Okay. A lot of times we feel that um, we're great pawn brokers, but in today's day and age, you you, you can't just be a pawnbroker. I'm sorry. You have to be an incredible entrepreneur. You have to be forward thinking, just like uh, Evan Kale, who is on the Pawn Leaders podcast episode tomorrow. He made, I think it was a $14,000 sale on TikTok, using social media to sell more than you can ever imagine, right? I want you to open your mind to different things. I want you to open your mind to different ways of thinking because a true pawn leader is always learning. So with that said, I'm going to head home. I'm going to pawnaccelerator.com. Come join us next week. If you're thinking, oh, I don't have the time, watch the replay. If you're thinking, I don't know if I can do this, anybody can do it. Uh, manager, owner, team member, it doesn't matter. If you're thinking $57 is way too expensive, you're in the wrong business. Right? What's up, Nick? How you doing, brother? Um, Come check us out, pawnaccelerator.com. I don't want to ever hold anybody back because of price. 
I want you to learn the foundation. I want you to learn keys that can help you unlock the potential of you and the potential in your business as well. And that takes learning, being there and getting out of your comfort zone and doing something new. So join us in the podaccelerator.com. We're shutting off signups, I believe, Friday. And um, if you sign up in the next couple of days, you receive something cool in the mail. If you sign up after that, I can't promise you that you're going to get it. So I'll see you there. Um, I want to see who's watching. What's up, Nick? How you doing, brother? An epic marketer, an epic leader right there. Seth, thanks for watching. I think it's either Daniel or Danielle. I'm not sure. I can't see your picture big enough, but thank you so much for being here. And uh, with that said, stay safe, stay healthy. Love you all. Ask questions in the group. Don't let things come crashing down just because you care about one aspect of the business today. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.